Hello, this is Vern, and if you feel like your love life has been handed a shit sandwich time and time again, but inside your deepest heart you yearn for that meaningful connection with a man, well, on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you why it's absolutely possible for you to rewrite your love story regardless of how many times your heart's been broken or how many times you failed, quote unquote, in the past, and how you can step into a new act for you starting today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to yourgreatlifetobe.com, a space where I share with driven, ambitious, conscious, heart-open women how you can create the relationship that you crave as a result of stepping into the most alive, and the most worthy version of yourself without the need of any manipulation or gimmicks or little techniques here and there. Uh, Today's episode is very dear to my heart because every day I connect with women who are about to give up on love or who at some level have given up on love already. The message that I want to share with you right now is that it doesn't matter how fucked up it's been in the past, how many times you've suffered from heartbreak, how many guys have told you that you are not what they're looking for, you can change it around and you can rewrite your love story. You can get a fresh piece of paper, metaphorically speaking, and write something that is meaningful to your heart and that creates the type of aliveness and sustenance emotional that you're looking for. And more than just saying, well, you can rewrite your love story, I'm going to share with you why I know it's possible. The first reason why I know it's possible is because you, my dear, are not broken. You might be telling yourself that you're broken. You might be telling there's something wrong with you. But I'm here to share with you unequivocally that you are not your behavior. Your, me- your behavior might be messed up sometimes. Your behavior might be one that drives you to connect with guys who are not good for you. But that's not who you are. Your behavior and who you are are different. And as long as you understand that that's the case, then you don't have to change you. You have to change your behavior, which is easier to do than changing your entire (laughs) identity. Number two, love is not just a feeling. Love is a skill. And if love is a skill, you can learn it. And if you've learned the wrong way to create meaningful loving connections, you can also unlearn it as well. You know, there's this big myth that love is just this feeling. And love is a feeling a transcendent feeling, an extraordinary feeling, the the beating heart of the universe. And it's also a skill, a skill of communicating, a skill of seduction, a skill of heart-centered openness, a skill of feminine openness, a skill of presence. Those things can be learned, and because they can be learned, you can create a different kind of relationship than one you've created before. Number three, choose differently. You can choose different men. You can choose men who see you. You can choose men who are in it for the long haul. You can choose men who want to offer something more than just feeling their own needs. Now, you might have to recalibrate how you feel connected to guys, but that's absolutely doable. So just understand that if love's a skill, you can learn to choose different kind of men. Many times in the past, you've connected with men, not despite the fact that they are not good for you, but subconsciously, because they're not good for you. Number four, there's a process called alchemy, my dear. Alchemy is when you can turn shit into gold, when you can turn a situation that has created an enormous amount of pain, internalize it, experience it, and transcend it in a way where there's more of you, not less of you as a result of it. You see, there's two different ways. I learned from someone who's an incredible human being, blind man who climbed Mount Everest, who is sharing that people usually think that you get to become something or someone despite your problems and your challenges. And he's saying, no, 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 you get to become someone because of your problems and challenges. Sometimes there's a deeper level of awareness that you can embody as a result of the pain you've gone through. Sometimes there's a deeper level of openness, sometimes a deeper level of compassion, sometimes a deeper level of hunger. Now, am I saying that it's cool that you experience pain? Absolutely fucking not. I would never wish pain upon anyone. And if you just so happen to have experienced it, let's do the best, let's make the best out of it and alchemize it so that you, there's more of you to share, more of you to give, more distinctions, more wisdom, and a deeper sense of 
what you want based on what you've experienced. Number five is because there's an infinite power inside of you that transcends the time, the space, the specific situations, uh, the times you feel you failed. That power inside of you is bigger than anything can happen to you. And if what you've experienced regarding, relative to love is pain, it's betrayal, it's sadness, it's uh, abuse even, the power that you have inside of you, not only can it help you choose differently, but it can help you to show up in a way where you can say no to the kind of people who don't want to step into love the right way. The infinite power inside of you can help you to connect your intuition, to make decisions based not just on your instant feeling, but an, in, an inner wisdom that knows better, knows more than just your mind. And as long as you're connecting with both your intuition and your mind, you'll make better decisions. Number six, and this is a big one, and that's because you can rewrite your love story, not just for you. The reason why I'm urging you, if you're about to give up to rewrite your love story, is not because there's anything that I personally gave from it, gain from it, but because the future generations will have a different possibility based on how you show up right now. The people around you will be inspired to go for what they want if they can see that it's possible in you. Because all the women who don't have the insight, the wisdom, the heart, the presence, or even the energy to go out and get what they want, the moment you step into it, the moment you create it, the moment you show, not in words, not in books, but as an example, a living, breathing example of possibility, you create more options for people around you right now and for people in the future to experience much more than you experience and certainly much more than your ancestors experienced. So hope you find this helpful, useful, and insightful. If you do, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And if you hit the little bell, in addition to subscribing, then you won't miss an episode because it will notify you when new episodes come out. And the third and most important of all, if you feel like you want to go deeper in understanding how to create the relationship of your dreams, how you can step into more fulfillment in love and less pain, then I've created a masterclass that can guide you through some of these things and it's absolutely free. The first line of the description of this video will take you to a page where you put your name and email and you'll start watching this masterclass right away. Now, if you're someone who's saying, you know what, Vern? I love your videos, I've watched all of these videos, or I get the feeling that you know what you're talking about, and I don't just want a video, I want hand-holding that can save me from five years of back and forth pain and can show me how to create the relationship that I want with myself and with a guy, then there's another link under the description of this video where you can click on it and submit an application, and if I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out, set up a time for us to connect, and then we'll talk. And if we're fit to work together, awesome, we will. If I don't feel I can help you, uh, no harm done, I'll just say I can't help you, and then uh, you still gain some insights. Thank you so much for connecting with me. Thank you for allowing me into your heart and into your home. I'm gonna create a new video very, very soon to thank everyone, but I just wanna mention it briefly. I surpassed the 100,000 subscriber mark yesterday. <laughs> Feeling so grateful. I'm gonna record something to thank all of you, but I just didn't want to not mention it right now since this is the first video I create after that milestone in YouTube. Thank you so much. Mwah.